and how does it feel to be nominated by people doing the job you're doing at a very high level? It's, it, is it, does it... I can't quite believe it. <laughs> it's really good. Yeah. I think for both of us, I'm, I mean, I am speaking for you, but I hope you'd agree that... Yeah. For us, like, we're so passionate about our film, and... Like, it's a win for us to even see, like, Lucy Halliday nominated, and Kerry Hayes nominated, and, and Rose McEwen nominated, like... It's such a win for this, the film to get recognition, and so I mean, for us to be nominated as you know ensemble and everything like that, it's, it's really affirming that we did our bit to help make the film yeah. great. But tonight, I, I'm most excited just to celebrate our film and to celebrate everyone else's films. And do you think that's one of the strengths of British cinema is that these kind of films can be told, uh, whereas you know perhaps in you know Hollywood or wherever they they might not be. Oh yeah, absolutely. Massive. I mean, Blue Jean. The story, I mean, it speaks for itself. You know, I was saying earlier that, you know, Section 28 and, and back in the 80s was a horrific thing. And yes, a lot has changed, but there's still so more, much more that can change. And people are still dealing with, with, you know, homophobia. And it's still very much a thing. So to have that out there and to see such a raw story is very important. And... Um uh, and to, in some extent, with Section 28, that that kind of thing should have been consigned to the history books. But as you say, it's still very relevant. Yeah. Is that the kind of response that you've been getting from people uh, as the as audiences see it? Yeah, I mean, there's people who have said that you know they are teachers who maybe ex like grew up in the 80s and like they've said that watching it was healing and they actually got to see their own experiences. Or people who didn't even grow up in the 80s and just are teachers working education. They might be queer like they feel seen and heard but even for people like young people like me I get to learn so much from from being around these incredible queer creatives telling this powerful story learning about the history of this country and the people who fought for their rights it, it, I think it just offers so much and it's touched everyone in a really personal way but in, in different kinds of ways yeah and that's what film's all about it's all about being able to relate to, to, to a certain story you know uh, and what's, what's been the most exciting thing for you, other than your own film, uh, in 2022? What's been the most exciting thing to see? 2022. Um, I mean, The Wonder was incredible. And Queen of uh, Glory was amazing. I, was, I really, really liked Queen of Glory. Um, I wish I didn't see it, and I really, really, really wanted to see Neptune Frost, and I missed it by accident. But I hope I'm going to catch that. Yeah. Like, either before the end of the year or like next year. Yeah, I'm a massive fan of After Sun at the moment. After Sun? Yeah, just incredible. And The Origin, The Origin. Safi Oakley Green is incredible <laughs> in The Origin. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, is that yeah. from The Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice.